Tonight at the Glass City Center, the National Football Foundation's Toledo Mr. Chapel's 60th Annual Scholar Athlete Banquet. Over $2,000 in scholarships awarded to local football players. The keynote speaker, Ohio State head coach Ryan Day, who sat down with BCSN's Mark Coons. 2020, you're supposed to be up here at this banquet. We know that didn't happen. Two years has passed. This says a lot about your commitment to the National Football Foundation in Toledo, that you are steadfast in your commitment to speak to this chapter. Well, yeah, I, uh, you know, obviously the last couple of years have been crazy, and, uh, but, but Toledo has, has been very important for Ohio State football for a long, long time. And certainly wanted to get up here and, and be around it and obviously show how important it is for, for you know, Ohio State. And, um, you know, certainly recruiting, it's, it's big for us. But, uh, but it's also important just, you know, for all those who don't play football at Ohio State, just to, to be around it and to celebrate those who did such a great job this year. What was the biggest adjustment becoming Ohio State's head coach? I, I, I would have to think it's not necessarily the X's and O's. It's all the extra attention that comes along with being a big-time national figure now. Yeah, I would say the biggest thing is a lot more pictures. <laughs> Everyone's got their pictures out, and uh, it's, it's part of the job. But the thing you realize is how strong Buckeye Nation is, uh, how strong the football program and brand of Ohio State is. Um, you know, half a million alumni from coast to coast and even outside the country. Uh, but, but I think people just love the Buckeyes, and you realize that. And so it just um, you know, reemphasizes how you got to bring it every day. And uh, it's the identity of so many people here and certainly have grown to appreciate what that means. And uh, it, it means a lot to my family, means a lot to our program, means a lot to our players. And uh, we, we live it every day, whether it's in recruiting or just developing a first-class program year in and year out that people can be proud of. We'll have more of that conversation with Ryan Day coming up later this month.